coming up next on Hello Kitty's Furry Tale Theater. to drink it up anyway. Gee, thanks, Catnip. That's nice of you. Shh. Don't tell anybody, okay? I don't want to ruin my reputation. Hurry up, you two. It's curtain time. Hello Kitty's Furry Tail Theater is proud to present Catula, fur-raising story. Once upon a meow in a small village in Castlevania, a terrifying vampire was on the loose. Jumping catfish, that milk guzzling bad thing struck again. I've had it. Dear Hello Kitty, a milk slurping vampire is loose in our village. There isn't a drop of milk left anywhere. Come and help. Bring lots of milk. Love, Granny. Pack your bags. We're going to Castlevania. Fasten your seatbelts. Next stop, Catsylvania. Gosh, what an airport. Smile. Thanks. Now all we have to do is get to the village. Taxi! Hello, kitty and friends. Maybe we should walk. Ah, uh, yes we are. How, how did he know we were coming? Reinder, at your service. Your granny sent me. <laughs> oh, so that's how you knew who we were. Smile, Mr. Grinder. I'm Hello Kitty. These are my friends, Tuxedo Sam, Chip, and my Melody. Please don't meet you now. Get in. <laughs> the road to Castlevania is closed. We're going to Catula's castle. I wonder who Catula is. I don't know, but it looks like we're going to find out. <laughs> to the village. Nope. The only one is washed out. We'll have to stay here tonight. <laughs> here? We're gonna spend the night here? Sleep outside if you want. I'm going in. Whoa. Us too! Make yourself comfortable. This place gives me the creeps. 
get away from Countess Cantua. There it is! Castlevania! I thought the road was washed out! It was a trick! Nothing can stop us now! Except a big, ugly vampire bat! <laughs> That's something! I have an idea! Give me some milk, Chip! Don't worry about her. I have a secret weapon. Garlic. Phew! I hope that smell wears off. Oh, you better hope it doesn't, Sunny. It keeps the vampire away from the village. I don't think garlic is gonna help. Can't nab it. There goes the milk supply. Not so fast. Watch this. No! Now, now hear here. this. Calling all villagers. villagers! Calling all, all villagers. villagers! Bring me your cameras! Thanks to Kitty and her friends, we no longer have to worry about Catula. Again. I just wish for once I could be the lead. Like me? That's what I mean. Look at you. You're too small to be a star. Size isn't everything. Places, everyone. It's curtain time. Yeah! My ladies and gentlemen, Hello Kitty's Furry Tail Theater is most honored to present. <laughs> Once upon a meow in merry old England, knights throughout the land sought to free the royal laser sword Excalibur from the enchanted stone. Your turn, Arthur. But Ferlin, how can I possibly pull Excalibur out? When all these, uh, big, strong knights couldn't do it. You aren't going to give up without trying, are you? All right. First I'll try, then I'll give up. <laughs> Be careful. Don't listen to them, Arthur. Just get in there and pull. Whosoever pulleth the sword from the stone shall be king. One, two... Three! Wah! He did it! Impossible! A lightweight like that couldn't possibly... Yay! Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. Ferlin, does this mean I'm really king? Just as I thought. This wizard used his trickery to help the boy. Now we'll see who the true king of the land is. <laughs> Let's see you do it again, Runt. How's this? This proves without a doubt who the true king of the land is. Hail King Arthur! I don't 
care if he did pull the sword out. I won't be ruled by some wimpy little kid. Neither will we! What good is this sword? No matter what I do, no one listens to me. No one respects me. Arthur, respect is something you must earn. You need to perform a great deed to prove your worthiness as a king. Aha! This is perfect for you. Lady Bunnyvere held captive by notorious dragon. Arthur, you must leave at once to rescue Lady Bunnyvere. Me? You. Don't worry. With the sword Excalibur by your side, nothing can defeat you. I'll do it! Let's see. I know Morgan Lefer's invisible cottage is around here somewhere. Oh! I found it. <laughs> Who is it? Tis I, your loyal assistant, the Black Knight! Come on in, it's open. And wipe your feet. No, too plain. Ooh, that's more like it. Your invisible cottage is hard to see, Madam Morgan. <laughs> that's why it's invisible, dummy. Where's Excalibur? You did get it, didn't you? Well, I... Some little runt named uh, Arthur sort of pulled it out of the stone. <laughs> Arthur? Berlin's apprentice? Why, he's not even old enough to be out after dark! Magic map? Show me the whereabouts of Arthur the Boy King. The bridge leading to the dragon's castle. No doubt he's going there to rescue Lady Bunnyvere. Find the boy and get that sword. Yes, Madam Morgan. <laughs> and hurry! <gasps> that sword looks a little heavy for you, right? Better hand it over to me. <laughs> Never! Never say never, Wimp! No! My sword! Wrong! My sword! Unhand him, you bully! What kind of a knight would threaten an unarmed boy? Try picking on someone your own size, you fiend! Gladly! <laughs> hey! Stand still and fight! <laughs> Talk about going around in circles! Good work, good knight! Sir Lancelot Penguin at your service! But what is a youngster like you doing way out here? Mm, not much. Now that my sword Excalibur's lost in the lake. Excalibur? Why, I read about you in the newspaper. You're the boy king. Fear not, my king. I shall escort you to the kitty of the lake, keeper of lost treasures. She will have your sword. Not if I get there first. On your mark. Get set, die! Welcome to the lake of the lost and found. What do you seek? That's my laser sword! In order to prove your ownership, you must answer three questions. Are you ready? Ready, kitty of the lake. How did it get here ahead of us? First question, what is your name? The Black Knight. Second, what is your favorite ice cream? Rocky Road. And last, what is 365 divided by 12? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Next. <laughs> you didn't get the sword, did you? <laughs> Madam Morgan, <laughs> I'll do it. You certainly will. <laughs> 
Arthur may be able to escape the Black Knight, but he won't be so lucky with the dragon. I'll make sure of that. And the final question. What is your favorite color? Uh, royal blue. Correct. Next stop, the Dragon's Castle. No, no, I hate roasted carrots. Why can't I just go home? <sighs> yeah. Wait, I came to warn you, George. Some little kid named Arthur is coming here to take Bunny Veer away. <laughs> Take it easy, George. I'll help you. <coughs> Poor Lady Bunny Bear. I hope we're not too late. <coughs> Be laser, you overgrown wizard! I'm at a time like this. We're about to become night burgers, and you're throwing away your shield? Haven't you ever heard of fighting fire with fire? <laughs> the dragon must have heartburn, but I have Excalibur. We'll never catch her now. There's more than one way to catch a cat. Come on, George. If you really like me, help Arthur get Excalibur back. Oh no! To Queen Bunny Bear. To Sir Lancelot, Guardian of the Kingdom. To Sir Ferlin the Wise, my personal advisor. To Sir Black Knight, who has agreed to serve the King. Long live King Arthur!